Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome into the Hopkinton High School turf fields where Hopkinton Hillers boys varsity lacrosse on HCAM. As today, the Hopkinton Hillers take on the Westwood Wolverines. Tom Nappy on the call, Mike Tarosian on camera for the season opener for boys lacrosse. Four 12 minute quarters in this contest, and it should be a good battle between two great lacrosse programs in the TVL, the Hopkinton Hillers and the Westwood Wolverines as the starters meet up at the center of the field. Let's take a look at those starters. We'll start off with the Westwood Wolverines. Their goalkeeper is going to be uh, Donald Varnerin. Andrew Watson is also out there as a starter. You have J.T. O'Shea. Also, Jack McManus, RJ Colley, Brendan Wang, Caleb Woodworth. And that should do it for the Westwood Stars. As meeting up at the center of the field is Devin Canty and Brendan Wang. Also for the Hillers out there, you have John Sanda, Jack Proventure, as well as Wyatt, Ian Tosca, Harris Bograd. And we are underway in net for the Hillers. It is Rocco Horgan. And also out there you have Dylan Manser as a defenseman. Wolverines with possession along the far side of the field. John David with it, he'll send it over to Ben O'Brien. And a strong wind here today. It is a fairly nice day as the ball's knocked out of the net of Brendan Varner in a battle for it now as it's on the ground in Hiller's territory. Hopkinton is in the white jerseys. Westwood in their away green jerseys. And it's certainly easy to get confused sometimes when these two teams meet up. As there's a shot and it's deflected. That was Andrew Watson on the shot. And a good save there by Rocco Horgan. A minute into action here in Hopkinton as the Hillers work into Westwood territory. Wolverines get it back, taking it up the near side, RJ Colley. Colley trying to work it into the Hillers defensive zone. Sends it out, gets past Caleb Woodworth. Loose ball, trying to pick it up is Devin Canty. Canty doing battle with Woodworth. Westwood maintains possession as RJ Colley able to get a grasp on it. Up behind the net now over to Varnerin. And it will be Hillers ball. And the Hillers working up the middle of the field as a pass up by Rocco Horgan. Now into Westwood territory they go. Rowan Gould with it. Sends it behind the net to McDonald. And now along the far side. John Sanda with it. Pass over to Lave Lynette. Dave Lynette sends it over to Rowan Gould. Now McDonald behind the net. Takes it around. Trying to work the defenders. He's looking for a shot. There it is. First score of the season for the Hillers. Owen McDonald at nine minutes and 30 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Nice way to start things off here. Game number one for the Hillers. Hey, 
At midfield, Devin Canty for Hopkinton. Loose ball in the center circle. They continue to battle for it. Scooped up along the near side. And brushing it forward is Dylan Manser. And Canty gonna try to pick it up. It will go to Westwood. RJ Colley sends it up to Watson. And now with it is Max O'Brien who sends it back. Taking it up is John David along the far side trying to work the defender. Sends it behind the net. He'll come out with it. Now RJ Colley with it. And now trying to approach, there's a shot. It's just wide from Colley. And it's gonna stay with Westwood. John David with it. Trying to work the defender. Sends it back over to Collie. Well, it's certainly exciting to be starting off the spring season, our first broadcast of the spring season. And we'll have all kinds of games for you from Hopkinton High School throughout the spring. Lacrosse, softball, baseball, as the Hiller is trying to work it into Westwood territory. Rowan Gould with it. Sends it up. Now behind the net. Taking it out, McDonald. Near side, Vassington with it now. Vassington trying to breeze by the defender. It's it back to McDonald. McDonald looking for another score and it's deflected away. Loose ball and Westwood has it, picked up by Jack McManus. And now Woodworth approaching, sends it to his left. And now on the side of the net and striking, Troy Fedrickson. That'll make it a one-to-one -one game. Nice score there by Fredrickson. And it comes at 7-12 left to go in the first quarter. Well, this should more than likely be a back and forth battle between these two teams. Standing in the middle, it is Brendan Wang up against Cooper Goodman for Hopkinton. A lot of good returning players on this Hillers team. And certainly a lot of familiar faces from the hockey team as well as a few basketball names in there as well. Goodman sends it up the far side. Able to find Logan Del Ponte. Now behind the net, that is McDonald. Back to Del Ponte. Logan trying to approach, and lost it along the far side, able to pick it back up. Del Ponte trying to approach, and he is in trouble, wrapped up by a number of defenders, ball gets loose. McDonald picks it up behind the net. Sends it out to Baudet. Baudet takes it towards the center. Get, gets by the defender, takes a shot, it's wide, picked up by McDonald. Sends it out, there's a shot and it's deflected away by the goalkeeper, John Sanda on the shot. And Donald Varner in, able to deflect it away. Go 
Goes out of play along the near side. Westwood ball. Brendan Varner in with it. Varner in, scoops it out, a shot and a score. John David makes it two to one Westwood. Varner in will get the assist for that one. But a nice pass and a good setup by John David right in front of the net. That score comes at 543 left to go in the first quarter. Devin Canty in the center for the Hillers. He was matched up with Brendan Wang and Wang wins that battle. Sends it over to David, there's a shot, it goes wide. And it'll be Hiller's ball. Morgan able to get there, now coming up the field, Sam Vassington. Vassington lost it, kicks it forward into Westwood territory, scoops it back up. Trying to send it out and did he step out? Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have a timeout here. 5.18 left to go in the first quarter, a two to one Westwood lead. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Lacrosse on HCAM. Off the timeout in this season opening game. 5.18 left to go in the first quarter. It's a two to one Westwood lead. And the Hillers start off with possession. Hopkinton in the white, Westwood in the green. For those of you just tuning in. Gould with it. Up against McManus for Westwood. And right, we'll send it back. And now McDonald. Gonna come around, takes the shot, it's wide. It's gonna stay with the Hillers. Gould comes out with it. Over to Del Ponte. Del Ponte gonna take a shot, and it will go wide. Owen McDonald able to get there. Donald trying to allow the Hillers to get set up as Del Ponte sends it to his left. Del Ponte with it. Over to Sanda. Sanda to Gould. Now it's out to Goodman. Goodman being contested. Gets it to Gould. Del Ponte. Sends it out. And he was looking for Bodette. It got by him. And chase down along the near side. Out of play it goes. It'll be Westwood ball. With it for the Wolverines is Prefontaine. Now sent to 13, I think, or excuse me, that is uh, Gaffney, 13. Now to Pizzuto. There's a shot, and a good save by Rocco Horgan. Horgan takes it out. Into Westwood territory he goes, and picked up by David. And David trying to take the long shot on the open net, and it was wide. It'll be Hiller's ball. Sent out to Lavelinette. Colby Lavelinette taking it up the far side. And trying to scoop it forward, it went out of play along the sideline, it'll go to Westwood. John David with it. Over 
over to Varner and Brandon Varner in, sends it out to Gaffney. Ryan Gaffney trying to split two defenders and he lost it. Picked up by Sanda. Sanda launches it forward a little high for Gould. And a play it goes. It'll be Westwood ball. 220 and counting left to go in this first quarter. Been some good action to start this game off. Two to one Westwood lead. Varner in with it. Donald Varner in up the far side. John David trying to pick it up. And he lost it along the sideline. Goes to the Hillers. Here comes D. McKelly. Back to Horgan he goes. Horgan with the launch up the far side to Sanda. A correction, that was Ian Tosca. And out of play along the sidelines it goes. Westwood ball. Rushing up the sideline is Caleb Woodworth. Woodworth sends it over to Ben O'Brien. O'Brien to David. John David launches it to Colley along the center circle. Colley rushing in. Takes it in front of the net and a nice score there by Troy Fredrickson. Well, that was just a great setup by Colley and Fredrickson right in front of the net. Therefore, the easy score for Westwood. That'll make it a three to one Westwood lead. Comes at 111 left to go in the first quarter. Good battle in the center circle. Hillers have it. It's picked up by ProVenture. To McKelly try to pick it up. Getting in there and taking it away is Westwood. Here comes the unlisted 21. We'll try to get a name on that player for Westwood. Goes out of play along the sidelines. Over to Bronfields. Now on the far side, John David. 35 seconds and counting left to go in the first quarter. Sends it out and it's intercepted. He was looking for Fredrickson, but a good read by Dylan Mansur. And now trying to get a grasp on it is Canty. Loose ball. Hillers have it. It was picked up by Ian Tosca. Ten seconds left in the quarter. Ian Tosca lost it. Westwood has it. Caleb Woodworth going to rush up and maybe try to take a buzzer beater. Sends it over. There's a shot deflected away. And that will do it for the first quarter. After one quarter of play, it's going to be Westwood 3, Hopkinton 1. You are tuned in to the season opener of Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Lacrosse on HCAM. And we are just about ready for the second quarter. A three to one Westwood lead. And we are underway. Some good shots by Westwood in that first quarter. See if the Hillers could get something going. Westwood working along the far side. We have switched ends. So now it's Westwood working right to left across your screen. John David with it, sends it out. Over to number 21. We're trying to get a name on him. And 
And we have the name. It's Dylan Martucci, number 21. Right now it's Bronfeld's with it, and now Hiller's gonna take it away. Hopkinton taking it up the far side. Trying to get it in front of the net. Loose ball. Logan Del Ponte trying to pick it up and it's brushed up towards the center circle by Kennedy. And all kinds of uh, pushing going on there and we'll get a stoppage. And we're gonna have a slashing call. It's gonna go against the Hillers. Logan Del Ponte, the guilty party. So he'll take a seat for the next minute. Wolverines with it along the far side. Woodworth goes back to David and now there's a shot and a score by Ben O'Brien. Ben O'Brien with an absolute rocket to make it four to one. That comes at 10.34 left to go in the second quarter on the power play. Westwood able to take advantage. Wolverines up by three now. Westwood returning a lot of talented players from last year. They're expected to do big things this season. Goodman with it. Now sends it over to the near side. McDonald sends it out. Del Ponte back to McDonald. Del Ponte now. Centers it to Bodette. Odette, trying to sneak by the defender, gets it out to Sanda. Del Ponte to McDonald. Donald comes out with it, takes a shot, it's wide. And it's gonna go to Westwood. So Woodworth able to get to the back line first. Woodworth looking for Collie. Loose ball along the far side. Collie in there for Westwood. For the Hillers, you had Manser in there. Went out of play along the sideline. Hillers ball. Trying to work his way up is Owen Champlin. And picked up by McDonald. And he sends it out. Out of play it goes. It'll stay with the Hillers. Del Ponte coming out with it. Takes the pass and over to McDonald. Looks like he was gonna go for that top corner for a moment, but it was a pass just above the net to McDonald. And then McDonald's shot went wide. Stays with the Hillers. Gould sends it over. Del Ponte now. He's trying to get by the defender. Comes out with it. A shot deflected away. Good shot by Bodette, but a nice save by Don Varnerin. Bodette with it. That was a good idea there by the Hillers. A nice setup, but some good goalkeeping. Champlin with it. Now it is Bassington. Bassington approaching. Picked up by McDonald.
Del Ponte. Trying to work the defender. Takes it out in front and a great pass to Owen McDonald who pops it in. It was just a good setup there by Del Ponte. And Owen McDonald with his second score of the season. The goal comes at 7.47 left to go in this second quarter. And there's going to be a, a Westwood penalty. Eli Wasserman in the guilty party. He'll take a seat for a minute. So the Hillers with a good chance here to really get back into this game. Devin Canty in the center circle. Up against Wang. And it is picked up by Vassington. Del Ponte. Over to McDonald. Hillers with the man advantage. Sando with it. Over to Cooper Goodman who just hopped into the game. Back to Sanda. Over to Del Ponte and the shot's wide. It'll go Westwood's way. 24 seconds left on the man advantage for Hopkinton. Varnerin sends it over to DeMeo. DeMeo trying to work it up the near side. And it looks like we're going to have a timeout. 6.54 left to go in the second quarter. It's Westwood 4, Hopkinton 2. We got a good battle here in the season opener on H Cam. Six fifty-four left to go in the second quarter. Off the timeout. Seven seconds left on the man advantage for Hopkinton. Will be Westwood's ball coming off the timeout, and we are underway. As David sends it over to DeMeo. and the man advantage has expired. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have a penalty here. The official just threw the flag. It's going to be a slash. It's going to be against Hopkinton. Dylan Manser, the guilty party. That's going to be a one minute trip call. So Westwood now with the man advantage. John David sends it over to O'Brien. Back to David. Woodworth now. They're trying to open it up. And there's a shot by David and a good save by Horgan. Coming out with it, Vassington. 
Well, the Hillers, they need to try to keep control here and burn off the remaining 30 seconds of the penalty. Del Ponte. Six minutes and counting now left to go in the first half. 15 seconds left on the penalty. McDonald with it. Sends it over to Leigh Lynette. And they have successfully burned off the penalty. Along the near side, McDonald back to Leigh Lynette. Trying to take it in is Leigh Lynette. Behind the net, McDonald. Del Ponte sends it out. Sando with it. Over to McDonald, and that shot is wide. It'll stay with the Hillers. Del Ponte coming out with it. Sends it out, looking for Lave Lynette. It got by him. It's going to go to Westwood. Woodworth pops it up to Ben O'Brien. O'Brien sends it over to Fredrickson. Now up behind the net. Sent out by Vernerin. O'Brien approaching, sends it behind the net. Sent out by Vernerin. Battle for it. And. It's going to be picked up by the keeper. Morgan sends it out, and it's intercepted by Gaffney. Sends it over. There's a shot, and it's wide by Fredrickson. Well, Westwood had a grand opportunity there. They essentially had Gaffney and Fredrickson against Rocco Horgan, the goalkeeper. Shot just a bit wide. And there's a shot off the side of the net by Brendan Varnerin. Hillers have it now. Horgan sends it over. Now back to Horgan. Horgan going to rush it up the field. And a long launch there by Manser. Picked up along the near side by McDonald. And there's a sh quick shot and a score. Cooper Goodman. What a great job there by the Hillers, quickly getting it up the field. They set up Cooper Goodman right in front of the net and he's able to pop it in. And that'll make it a four to three game. 3.31 left to go in the first half. And that is, I believe, his first varsity goal. He's gonna keep that ball. Big thanks to our cameraman, Mike Terosian, for pointing that out. One of the best in the business. Devin Canty up against Brendan Wang. So I'm happy, Mike Terosian, happy to be with you for this season opening matchup of boys lacrosse. And at one point, it was a four to one lead for Westwood, but the Hillers have struck back with a couple scores of their own. It's now four to three. With 3.18 and counting left to go in the second quarter. Andrew Watson behind the net. He'll send it out. Picked up by Gaffney. Gaffney was looking for Martucci. And Martucci able to pick it up. Now it's knocked out. It'll go out of play along the sideline. Hopkinton ball. Horgan picked up by D. McKilly, and we're going to have a Hopkinton timeout. 2:48 left to go in the first half. The Hillers working their way back into this game. It's Westwood four, Hopkinton three on H Cam. Out 2:48 left to go. In this second quarter, John Sando with it. 
So freshman Cooper Goodman made it four to three. His first goal of hopefully many in his Hopkinton Hillers career. Hopkinton right back in this match. Bodet sends it over to Del Ponte. Del Ponte trying to sneak by the defenders. Takes a quick shot, scooped up by the goalkeeper, Donald Varnery. And now picked up by Braden Joachim. Westwood gonna get it back as the pass intercepted by DeMeo. It's been a good back and forth first half between these two teams. And this has the makings of a game that's gonna go down to the wire. As Ryan Pizzuto takes it up. Loose ball along the far side as Mansur picks it up. Mansur trying to take it up the field and he stepped out of play. With it for Westwood, Fredrickson sends it back to David. David with it. Temperatures today in the low 40s, but certainly a very big wind chill on occasion. Certainly want to be bundled up if you're taking this one in today. And a good amount of people are taking this one in today along the sideline as that shot by Ben O'Brien is deflected, a defender Got his net in there, and it will stay with Westwood as John David able to get to the line. David. Sends it out to Pizzuto. Across he goes to O'Brien. One minute warning here in the first half. Right up to Max O'Brien. And trying to rip the shot off and went wide. Stays with Westwood. John David sends it out. 35 seconds and counting left to go in the second quarter. Max O'Brien picks it up. Behind the net he goes. Varner in trying to come out with it. He's being contested. Varner in. Up to David. David matched up with Wyatt Ian Tosca. O'Brien. And there's a shot and Horgan able to make the save. It looks like we're gonna have a call here. And it's gonna be a one minute penalty against Hopkinton. We're gonna get Jack Proventure. And I believe the call was a slashing call. There might have been a cross check. But in any case, a minute penalty. And that is going to do it for the first half. After two quarters of play, it is Hopkinton three, Westwood four. A good battle in the first half, second half should have a lot more excitement. You are tuned in to the season opener of Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Lacrosse on HCAM. And we are ready for the second half. A four to three Westwood lead in this Boys Varsity Lacrosse matchup. And we are underway in the second half. Westwood with possession, working left to right across your screen. Westwood in the green jerseys, Hopkinton with the white. And there's a quick shot and a quick score by John David to start things off in this second half. Well, that's a good way to get momentum going in the second half. Go right off the bat. Came 18 seconds into action. So a five to three lead now for Westwood. Tom Nappy on the call, Mike Tarosian on camera. Happy to be with you for this season opener of Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Lacrosse. 
We'll have varsity lacrosse all season long for you, all the home games for boys and girls. And also, we're going to have a lot of the JV games as well, courtesy of a nice camera we're going to have going in very soon that will be able to stream the video of the games for us. And we'll certainly try to have uh, announcers for all the games we can, but some of them uh, we won't be able to with other sports going on, so it'll be a big help to have that camera available that will be able to stream the games for us and get you your Hopkinton Hillers action. A good feed by Brendan Varnerin and Troy Fredrickson. Swipes it in to make it six to three, Westwood. Well, Westwood, they came ready to play here in this second half. A nice feed by Brendan Varner into Troy Fredrickson and Westwood with their second goal of the half, second goal within the first minute of the half. Comes at 11.03, left to go. Off the faceoff, picked up by Westwood. With it is Caleb Woodworth, sends it back over to Fredrickson. Behind the net, Varnerin. Out to David and loose in front and it's picked up by Horgan. Horgan sends it up, he's gonna quickly get back to tend the net. Proventure with it along the far side. And he swoops it out of bounds. Side out, Westwood ball. RJ Colley with it. Up to Braunfels, along the far side now, David. John David has a couple goals in this match. And he has quite a shot, that's a player you gotta look out for. RJ Colley trying to approach. Loose ball, it's knocked away. And trying to pick it up is Champlin. He was matched up with Colley. He was actually hoping that it would go out. It'll go over to Hopkinton now. Horgan with it. Yeah, he was looking for Sanda to get by him. Picked up by McManus for Westwood. Here comes the Wolverines, Woodworth. Traffic in front of him and he's trying to lace one in. And a little too much power on that one. It will stay with the Wolverines. Varnerin will take it out. Varnerin out in front. And there's a deflected shot by Fredrickson that goes out of play, it stays with Westwood. Varner in with it. Sends it up over to Gaffney. Gaffney gets met with a check from Sanda. Trying to pick it up, Max O'Brien, it's taken away. Here comes Vassington. Out in front, and that shot is deflected. Rowan Gold was looking to pop it in, deflected by DeMeo, and Westwood has it. Dante Martucci with it, sends it over to the near side, and now Max O'Brien. Loose ball picked up by Gaffney. Sends it up to David. Loose ball along the sideline, out of play it goes, it'll go to Hopkinton. D. McKelly sends it out. Proventure. Up to Ian Tosca. He sends it along the sidelines to Vassington. Behind the net now. Coming out with it, McDonald. Approaching. And takes a shot off the side of the net it goes. Picks it back up now. Met with a check, loose ball. 
Still trying to pick it up. And now it's kicked away and picked up by Westwood. Woodworth able to scoop it up. John David with it, sends it out. Woodworth takes the shot and it's wide. Stays with Westwood. Brendan Varner and out to Fredrickson. Now Ben O'Brien with it. O'Brien approaching. Back to Varner in. Seven and a half and counting left to go in the third quarter. Out in front and he was looking for the shot. It's deflected and it's loose. Picked up by Horgan. Good deflection there by De Devin Canty. Sent up to Debbie Kelly. Now Ian Tosca. Along the sideline of Del Ponte. McDonald. Just under seven minutes left to go in the third quarter. Coming out with it. And he's being contested hard by DeMeo. Looking for Del Ponte, loose ball along the back. He'll go to Westwood. Donald Varner and sends it out to Eli Wasserman. Now to Pizzuto. Sends it back to Kali. Behind the net, Watson. John David. Flushes it out to Braunfels. O'Brien now. Trying to approach. We'll take it around. John David with it. Up to Collie now. Collie looking to approach. Sends it back, and there's a quick shot and. It is gonna be a nice save by Horgan. Off the net of Jonas Braunfels. Horgan with it. Up to Champlin. Now to the far side, Ian Tosca. McDonald. Approaching shot, score! Owen McDonald with a beauty. That'll make it a six to four game. Well, the Hillers needed that. 5-10 left to go in the third quarter. And the Hillers back down by two. Yeah, that was Owen McDonald's Third goal of the game, so he is the hat trick. Loose ball and it's picked up by Woodworth. Woodworth sends it out to David. David approaches. A nice feed and a score by Troy Fredrickson. That Fredrickson, David combination coming through again for Westwood as they strike at 447. Left to go in the third quarter to make it a seven to four game. Devin Canty matches up with Brendan Wang in the center circle. Loose ball and it'll go Westwood's way. Big collision along the center circle there. Collie with it. And 
and it's going to go Hopkinton's way. We had an offsides call, I believe. Morgan up the near side of Manser. And Manser's pass was deflected as Woodworth picks it up. Woodworth quickly approaching, takes the shot, and it's in. And we're going to have a penalty. There was a lot of slashes in that process, and Caleb Woodworth had some wide open turf. And he is able to rip a nice shot off to make it an eight to four game at 4.15 left to go in the third. And it's gonna be a slash against Wyatty and Tosca. So a minute penalty there. And Westwood really has a good opportunity here to start to take control of this game. Four fifteen left to go in this quarter, and we are continuing on after another Westwood score. Loose ball picked up by the Hillers. Vassington with it. And it's knocked back out. Picked up by John David. David a little high there looking for Fredrickson. It goes to Hopkinton. Here comes the Hillers, Vasington. Up to Sanda. Behind the net, McDonald. Under 10 seconds left on the penalty. Sends it over. Pass by Sanda. Behind the net now. The penalty has expired. Del Ponte with it. Takes it out. Out in front. Shot in a score. Great feed by Del Ponte as he finds Luke Baudet. And Baudet pops it in. Del Ponte with yet another assist. He has a couple of those in this game. And we have an eight to five game in favor of Westwood. Well, it's still very much anyone's game. A lot of time left. Both of these teams are very good scoring teams, quick scoring teams. And the Hillers have it back, Devin Canty. And he runs into a traffic jam. We're gonna have a flag and we're gonna have a slash call. Got word that for Westwood, number four is Don Varneren. So it was uh, listed on the roster with the wrong number, but we're glad that somebody was able to correct us. Much appreciation for the correction there. So that was Varneren who had the goal just a few minutes ago. At 4.15 left. And a good save there by the goalkeeper. So that would mean Don Varner is not the goalkeeper. We'll have to get a name on the goalkeeper as well. A 
Along the far side is Brendan Varneren. He'll take it around. Sends it up to Fredrickson. Out in front, shot high by Gaffney. Stays with the Wolverines. Minute 15 and counting left to go in this third quarter. Gaffney. And that is ripped wide. Brendan Varner in with it. Out to Fredrickson. Watson. Brendan Varner in trying to take it out. Sends it back over to Max O'Brien. Collie. Sends it behind the net. Out in front and it's knocked loose. Who's gonna pick it up? It'll be Horgan. Oh, Westwood had a good look there. But good defense by the Hillers knocking it loose. Under 30 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Logan Del Ponte sends it up. Now with it is Baudet. Loose ball. And it is going to be picked up by Westwood's Thomas DeMeo, who launches it up the field. And Horgan able to collect, and that'll do it for what was an exciting third quarter. The Hiller is able to add a score, but the Wolverines add four of their own. Or the Hillers added a couple scores, rather. Westwood adding four of their own, eight to five, as we head into the fourth quarter on H Camp. Welcome back to Hopkinton High School. We are ready for the fourth quarter. It is an eight to five Westwood lead. So the Hillers have some catch up to do. Loose ball. Canty was trying to pick it up. The Wolverines get it back. Along the far side is Fredrickson. Over to O'Brien he goes. Ronfeld's pass over to David. David with it. Behind the net to Varnerin. And it's knocked loose. Knocked loose once again out of the net of Dylan Manser. And it is going to go to Westwood. They're able to sneak to that back line first. Varnerin scoops it out. Now with it is Braunfeld's. John David with it. Well, Hopkinton, they're, they're gonna need to get a couple turnovers in this fourth quarter. But Westwood's gonna get a score right here as Troy Fredrickson off a pass from John David pops it in. Westwood trying to run away with this game and some good ball distribution there. Makes it a nine to five game. The score comes at 10.43 left to go in regulation. Tom Dappy, Mike Tarosian, happy to be with you for Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Lacrosse and we have all kinds of spring sports next week. Pretty much every day we'll have some type of athletic event here on HCAM. And you can be sure to check our website, 
hcam.tv for our upcoming broadcasts. We will have them posted sometime this evening. We'll have more lacrosse on Monday. Or, or correction, next Tuesday we'll have more lacrosse. And then track and field Wednesday. That's right, John Ritz back at track and field this spring. Certainly loves covering those events and does a great job. We're gonna get a stoppage. Now we'll play on. Is that a play along the sideline? Ben O'Brien with it. Working along the far sideline. And pass out in front, and it's knocked away over to the near side it goes. It'll stay with, it'll go to Hopkinton rather. Or will it? No, it's gonna, it will indeed go to Hopkinton. Working his way up, label it at. McDonald with it. Just under 10 minutes left to go in regulation. Millers will have their work cut out for them for the rest of this contest. So next Tuesday, girls lacrosse 4 p.m. as the Lady Healers have their home opener against Medfield as there's a scoop and a save by the goalkeeper. Hillers had a nice look there, but some good goalkeeping. Working his way along the end line, Varnerin. Wind's starting to pick up a bit here in this fourth quarter. We've had a little bit of everything, a little sun, a couple raindrops, and a bit of wind. And we do have a flag as there is a shot that goes wide. Westwood still has it. And that shot is high by Andrew Watson. Brendan Varderen with it along the end line. We'll have a delayed penalty call as soon as we have a change of possession. Ben O'Brien rushing in. Behind the net, Varnerin. And there's a swipe by Colley that goes out of play. So next Tuesday, girls across Medfield versus Medfield, 4 p.m. Next Wednesday, outdoor track versus Holliston, 4 p.m. The next Thursday, more boys lacrosse as they'll take on King Phillip at 4 p.m. And then we'll have the softball and baseball home openers next Friday as Hopkinton meets up with Westwood softball at 4 p.m. And then we'll have the baseball game for you at 6.30 p.m. So spring sports is in Full effect here as we welcome in April. Sends it out and the attempted shot by David deflected away. Horgan has it. And Hopkinton gonna have to rush up field quickly and try to get some scores here as the Wolverines leading by four. Bassington has it knocked out and we get a whistle. And we got a timeout call by the Hillers and Hopkinton is a man short. There was a penalty, I believe it was, I wanna say it was a two minute penalty against uh, Jack Proventure. But with the timeout, there is 8.02 left to go. Westwood leading Hopkinton nine to five. You are tuned in to Boys Varsity Lacrosse on HCAM. Off the timeout, continuing on, 8.02 left to go. A 9-5 Westwood lead. And sometimes when that sun peaks out, it is not easy to see from up here, so bear with us. It has gone away for the moment, but we 
occasionally uh, decides to pop out as well. Hiller is along the far side. Leave Lynette with it now. Leave Lynette trying to work by the defender. Sanda. Del Ponte. Back to McDonald. And he'll take a quick shot, and that is turned away. Some good defense there by Westwood. And here comes the Wolverines in Hiller's territory. Sent over to Vernerin. Out now to Bet O'Brien. O'Brien with it. And I'm sure uh, next Friday, when we have baseball under the lights, both Westwood and Hopkinton are hoping for a little bit warmer conditions than today. A little less wind. But of course, uh, at the beginning of the spring season, you get those cold games, but I can't imagine it's too fun to hit a baseball when it's pretty cold and windy out. Barnerin sends it over, and it's going to be scooped up by Rocco Horgan. Like said, it's not fun to run a camera either, and I'd have to agree. Rocco Horgan taking it up as we approach six minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. And Hiller's rushing into Westwood territory, taking some hits there is the freshman Cooper Goodman, who scored his first goal of his Hopkinton high school career. And there is a flag on the field, so I'm guessing there's going to be a delayed penalty call against Westwood. Oh, it's going to be against... It will be against Westwood. It's going to be a push. They're going to get Thomas DeMeo. And it looks like it's going to be a minute and 30 second penalty. So Hopkinton will have a man advantage for the next minute and 30 seconds. That's certainly an advantage they could use right now with 541 left to go and Westwood leading it nine to five. Yeah, it did look like uh, quite a big push there as Goodman was coming up the field with it. And we are back in action. Baudet sends it out, Del Ponte. Along the far side, Sanda. McDonald, Del Ponte. McDonald with a shot, it's wide. Stays with Hopkinton. Gould to Baudet. Takes a shot, deflected away. And it's popped in by Baudet. Baudet just able to quickly swipe it in. And boy, did the Hillers need that. It comes at 4.59 left to go and makes it a nine to six game. It certainly gives the Hillers a little bit of hope at getting back into this game. So the penalty will go away and we'll be back at full strength for both sides. Devin Canty up against Brendan Wang. Hillers have it, picked up by McDonald. Uh, 
Hopkinton gonna try to make quick work of their possessions. With limited time left. Del Ponte with it. Sends it out. Baudet. He's gonna try to take it in. Bassington. Del Ponte. And a battle for it. He'll go to Westwood. Just under four minutes left to go. As the lights starting to come on here at the turf fields. They got the JV game next. Bronfeld's with it. Over to O'Brien. Out to Bronfeld's. Closing in, and that shot deflected. It stays with Westwood. That was a good save there by Horgan. But Hopkinton, they need to get a turnover. They're running out of time. Just under three minutes left now. John David with it. Comes out, takes a shot, and it's in! What a beauty there by John David. Able to get the defender off his back and swipe it in to more than likely give Westwood the clincher. Unless Hopkinton can pull off some quick scores. That goal comes at 2.48 left to go. 10 to six Westwood lead. Brendan Wang up against Devin Canty. This ball along the far side picked up by Sanda. Trying to close in. And I'd expect Hopkinton to be aggressive on their possessions from here on out. McDonald. Trying to work the defender. Has nowhere to go, and he'll take the shot and put it in! Wow! He had three defenders on him, was running into all kinds of traffic, and he was just able to swipe one towards the net, and in it goes at 2.15 left to go. It's a 10-7 game. Well, if the Hillers get a few more possessions like that, and Stop Westwood, you never know. Devin Canty up against Brendan Wang on the face off. And these face offs are going to be important too from here on out. And the Hiller's going to win another one. Good job by Devin Canty. Up to Owen McDonald. Trying to work the defender. Lost it, and Westwood has it. Picked up by Don Varnerin. And we get a stoppage here. And it's gonna be a timeout. 148 left to go in this game. A 10 to seven Westwood lead. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Lacrosse on HCAM. Well, 
One minute, 48 seconds left. A 10 to seven Westwood lead, and they have the ball. And if you're Westwood right now, you're just gonna try to burn that clock. There's no uh, purpose in uh, trying to rush in a shot unless you have a wide open one like that. And Ben O'Brien had the wide open opportunity and he took advantage of it. Certainly can't blame him for that one. And that'll make it an 11 to seven Westwood lead. There's the wind uh, picking up in these last minutes. And if there was no wind, it would be pretty warm up here. But when that wind comes, oof, it is rough. It's gonna go to Westwood. Wolverine's gonna try to burn out that clock. They have a nice comfortable four score lead, so they're just gonna try to burn the time out and win their opening game. Brendan Varneren with it. It's knocked out, he's able to pick it back up. John David, under a minute left. David takes it over, back to Varneren. David, it's knocked away and it'll Go out of play along the sideline. It's gonna be Hopkinton ball. So they'll quickly rush up field and see what they can do. But we do have an injury. It looks like John David a little shooken up. We certainly hope he's okay. They are gonna bring the trainer out to check on him. And he did take a bit of a rough hit there. It looks like he's down to his feet and he is limping off the field with the help of the trainer. Certainly hope that John David is okay. 30 seconds left, an 11 to seven Westwood lead here in the season opener for Hopkinton Hillers boys lacrosse. Sent over by Vassington. And Oregon's gonna take it up the field. It's knocked away and picked up by Varnerin. Ended up going out of play. It was a shot on the open net. Hillers have it. A long pass up the field. Now back into Hopkinton territory and there's a quick shot and a score by Andrew Watson as time expires. And that goal was uh, in time, so I believe they will count it right at the buzzer. Andrew Watson and Westwood will take the win by a final of 12 to seven. A rough way to start the season for the Hillers, but you played a very good Westwood team here today and certainly gave them all you had and a good effort to start off the season by the Hillers but they fall to Westwood here today by a final score of 12 to 7. For Mike Terosian on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. This has been Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Lacrosse on HCAM. Thanks for tuning in and we look forward to bringing you Hopkinton Hillers action all spring long. Enjoy the rest of your day, everybody, and we'll talk to you again soon.